art being thou forever will be great is your faithfulness great is your faithfulness morning by morning new mercies I see all I have needed thy hands had provided great is your faithfulness Lord on to me wonderful merciful Savior precious redeemer and friend who would have thought that a lamb could rescue the souls of men oh you rescue the souls of man oh, once a law comfort a teacher spirit we long to embrace and you offer hopes when our hearts are hopelessly lost the way oh we hopelessly lost the way Lord you are the one that we be oh you are the one we adore oh, you gave the healing and grace oh, always on the floor oh that's oh, oh, always on the floor. blessed be your name in Jesus name you may be see that many don't believe we are starting this morning they think we are starting in the evening so thank God we are we just who, who is ready to pray The only thing I will teach you is prayer. I will teach you to pray. I will teach you to pray. To understand the dimension of God in the place of prayer. Because he who, can, who, he who knows prayer has known God well. The Bible calls him Jehovah Lapidot, the God with the eyes of fire. He says... He that sits upon the circus of the earth whose eyes are like flames of fire. Hallelujah. All right, Luke chapter 18, verse 1 to 8. We're going to be on this scripture maybe for almost one day or two days as the Holy Spirit will just help us. Luke 18, 1 to 8. If we could read it together, I'll read one, you read two, then we'll get to eight. We'll read it as a team and he spoke a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint verse 2 read it loud and clear and there was a widow in that city and she came unto him saying avenge me of my adversary yet because this widow troubled me I will avenge her lest by a continual coming she weary me And shall not God avenge his own elect which cry day and night unto him, though he be along with them? Verse 8. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. 
I like um let's see the message on verse 8. There's a reason for that. I assure you that he will not drag his feet. But how much of be that kind of persistent faith? So you need to understand the faith that that portion was talking about. How much of that kind of persistent faith will the Son of Man find on the earth when he returns? Okay, let's see amplified. I tell you, he will defend and protect and avenge them speedily. Now, when the Son of Man comes, will he find persistence in what? In faith on the earth. Oh Lord, answer me and let me rest. Oh Lord, answer me and let me rest. Oh Lord, somebody say, Oh Lord. We are praying already. Prayer started. Say, Oh Lord, answer me and let me rest. The plan of God, the desire of God is for our life to continually excel as every day breaks, as you wake up and you age. God expects you to increase in such way that as you age, as you age, God equally expects you to increase. But there are people who are growing in age and they are retrogressing in progress. They are growing in age, but they are retrogressing in progress. Their life, as it was, as it were rather, is going backward. Is going backward. The Bible says in Psalm chapter 84 verse 7, that they go from strength to strength as they appear before God in Zion. They go from strength to strength. Trend. The Bible says in First Chronicles chapter 11 verse 9, speaking of the man called David, the Bible said David works greater and greater because God was with him. He works greater and greater. Esther chapter 9 verse 4, Mordecai works greater and greater. God expects your life to continually be on the increase. In Psalm 115 verse 14, the word of the Lord declares that the Lord shall increase us more and and more the bible says in zechariah 10 verse 8 that we shall increase even as we have increased meaning every day of your life you are supposed to have constant improvement your life is supposed to improve constantly first corinthians 3 6 paul planted apollos watered but god gave it the increase psalm 71 21 he says i shall increase god shall increase your greatness and shall comfort you on every side the place where we read the bible said there was a city and in that city there was a widow in that city there was a judge in that city there was a widow in that city there was a judge in that city there was a widow in that city there was a judge anything that happens in life happens on the location anything there was a city and if you must get answers in life you must understand the anointing and the capacity that controls location and controls environment that was why when jesus was about to cast out the devil from the man in mark chapter 5 the demon said don't cast us out of this region in other words we understand the dynamics of terrestrial oppressions we understand and that the powers that operate in this area we know their people we know their temperament we know their weakness we know their strength satan is not all powerful satan is only strategic in other words if you cast us out of this place and we go to a new region it's going to take us some time to be able to get the case file of all the people there so when you are praying or when you want to pray or when you are going to call upon god you must understand terrestrial oppressions and the powers of law Location. Am I talking to somebody here? The Bible calls Satan the God of this world. Now, let me explain that to you. When the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 4 4 that the God of this world has blinded the minds of them, the minds of them that believe not. When the Bible calls Satan the God of this world, it's not calling Satan the God of this planet. 
it's not only satan the god of the earth the earth is the lord and the fullness thereof when he calls satan the god of this world he's calling the god of the systems the system the craftiness the the, the, the human you know mechanical oppression the the, the carnal world the flesh not the physical earth because god made the earth in the beginning god made the heavens and what so when he said this world he's talking of the system the way the world do things the way the world handle things the 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 the, 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 the ideology of the earth satan does not own the planet satan does not own the land satan does not own the sky but the ideology the carnality in this world political power and all of that is saying that this thing adam handed that over to the devil am i communicating here so the place where we were the bible says in that city there was a judge in that city there was a widow in that same city there was a judge in that same city there was a widow and the bible said the widow came to the judge saying 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 a prayer without content is not potent a prayer without content is not potent saying when you go into fasting some people think god actually checks and that is why somebody can do a two-day fast and somebody else can do a seven-day fast and the man that does a two-day fast we have more resolve than the man that does a seven-day fast why the man that does a two-day fast does it with content he carries words to heaven he carries statement content to heaven a prayer without content is not potent the woman came saying she was saying something and that is why if you must understand the platform of prayer before we go further you must understand the place of words when you are fasting and you go off food that is not what god is bothered about because when people diet they go off food when people want to lose some weight they go off food Vege vegetarians go off bodily pleasures they go off the kind of meal that the body wants am i speaking here so going off food can be an act of discipline but not an act of fasting when you are fasting look at what he said to daniel in daniel chapter 10 and verse 12 he said from the first day that thou did chasten thyself before the lord thy god thy words ye heard and i have come for your words in isaiah 41 verse 21 the bible says god was speaking he said produce your curse bring forth your strong reasons give me reasons why i should answer your prayer so you must understand the place of content when you begin to pray you must understand the place of content 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 when you begin to pray am i communicating now am i communicating now so many so many errors we are going to correct we are going to correct so many errors and so many abnormalities in the place of prayer the bible god was trying to talk about the power of prayer he said there was a judge there was a judge god used a courtroom he didn't say there was a tax collector he didn't say there was a businessman he didn't say there was a lawyer there were lawyers in those days don't forget there were doctors in those days luke chapter 5 verse 17 he said as jesus was preaching there were lawyers and doctors of the lord came out of every part of galilee and the power of the lord was present to heal them so he could have said there was a doctor he could have said there was a lawyer he said but there was a judge that is to tell you that prayer your, your, your connection to god in the place of prayer is a connection that is almost like a legal connection in other words you understand that when somebody goes to court it must be in possession of evidence you don't go to court and argue blindly you must be in possession of evidence you have reasons why you feel you can win this case that tells me that anytime i stand before god to pray jesus stands as my lawyer to advocate for me but as he stands as my lawyer the enemy also stands as a lawyer to resist and feel there is no need why my prayers should be answered anytime you tell god that 
it's time for me to get married and settle down jesus stands as your lawyer he brings before the lord the price that he paid two thousand years ago that becomes an evidence why you must have an answer but the strong man raises up his voice and tells god why he feels there will be no answer but there is something about god there is something about the father imagine the son is your lawyer imagine the spirit is your intercessor and imagine god the father is the judge you already have the case decided in your favor so the place here we read the bible says and this woman came and said avenge me of my adversary prayer avenge me of my adversary avenge me of my adversary he said and he spoke a parable that men ought to pray meaning without prayer your life remains a parable men ought to pray he spoke a parable that man at the absence of prayer your life is nothing but a proverb people look at you and they use you as a verbal experiment they use you as a statement of mockery why because you lack the understanding and the application of scriptural new covenant prayer how god entails it to be so that is what is going on the life of people that people look at them and they use them as a parable they say you want to be like that young girl that is not married is still in her husband's house hey, you are a parable because you can't pray they say look at that one that is a graduate and she you know she's a, she's a graduate an example of those who, who are graduates and have no job that's a parable because you can't pray he said can't you see that family no matter how talented they are they end up in poverty that's a parable because you can't pray and that is why he said men are always men are supposed men not children men men the matured those that pray are men those that complain are children when you are complaining you are manifesting elements of immaturity but when there are issues around your life that you don't understand you switch into the place of prayer it takes maturity to be addicted to prayer even when it appears you are not seeing what you are praying about about, you still pray it takes maturity to pray and keep praying when the situations appear adverse when the situation appears on the reverse it takes maturity to pray and keep praying when it appears what you are praying for is not coming to pass it takes maturity to pray and keep praying when the more you pray the more the mountain it takes maturity to pray and keep praying when the more you pray the more the confrontation it takes maturity to pray and keep praying when the more you pray the more witchcraft unloose you know unleashes her terror against you it takes maturity to pray where the more you pray in fact the moment you are done with prayer the same sickness shows up again it takes maturity like Paul to say I know that my Redeemer liveth it takes maturity when it appears there's a shaking around your family you are praying and you are still standing firm that my grace is sufficient for there tell somebody you need maturity to pray answer my prayer let me rest you see the state of rest is a, the state of rest not the state of sleeping it's a state of wholeness a state of satisfaction how many of you know you can, you can be sleeping and you are not resting huh you can be sleeping and not resting. There are people who, who wake up in between the night because their mind is troubled. They went to bed troubled. Even in their sleep, they are still troubled. But rest is a state of wholeness, wellness, satisfaction. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 1. He said, let us therefore fear, let a promise be left us of entering into his rest. Any of you should come short of it. In Hebrews 4 verse 9, he said, Therefore there remained a rest for the people of God. There remained a rest. In Genesis chapter 2 and verse 2, say God rested on the seventh day. And Genesis 8 verse 4, he said, And the ark rested on Mount 
Ararat. God is a God that wants us to enjoy rest. Am I speaking here? He wants us to enjoy uncommon rest. In fact, in Matthew 11, verse 28 and 29, he said, Come unto me, all you that labor, and are heavy laden, and I will give you verse 29 take my yoke upon thee for my yoke is easy and my body is light and you shall find rest for your soul hey someone here is about to rest god is about to answer your prayers and he will make you rest you will have rest on every side you will have rest on every side rest is about to hit your life rest is coming to your family rest is coming to you financially rest is coming to your wife rest is coming to your husband rest is coming to your children you are about to get rest on every side i see rest coming your way the days of shaking and trouble is over somebody say answer me let me rest take your seat this was a prayer i prayed in 1999 that changed my life 1999 I prayed this prayer 1998 sorry I prayed this prayer and changed my life answer me and let me rest you know one time Solomon disgraced his father in public in 1st Kings chapter 5 verse 4 he was talking to Hiram Hiram was a lover of David the first house only house David had no building he built by himself not that David had no house David had no building, he built himself. Hiram built the first house for David. Hiram came to build also for Solomon. In fact, some of the wood and the gold that Solomon used for the temple was supplied by King Hiram. Hiram came and Solomon said in 1 Kings 5 verse 4, he said, Hiram, please, there's no need. God has given me rest on every side, so there is neither adversary nor evil or current. In other words, when a man is at the state of rest, he has swallowed up evil or current. What is evil or current? Anytime something good wants to happen, something bad happens. That is evil or current. Anytime somebody promises to help you, the person gets a bad news. That is evil or current. Anytime you are planning for a marriage, something takes over. Anytime you have an expectation, something bad happens. That is evil or current. So he said the state of rest is a state where there is no adversary, no evil or current. Not that there are no enemies, but they are infinitesimal because you can handle them. That is the level you get to when you say rule thou in the midst of thy enemy. In other words, they are there, but they are nothing. These things, these demons are nothing. Am I speaking to somebody here? So you must get to that point in your life of rest. That is what God wants us to enjoy as believers and God is sending me to tell you whether you are in this morning service or you are watching around the world you are about in Mosahakate Gosho you are about to enter into rest you are about to enter into rest rest on every side rest in your home rest in your marriage rest in your business somebody said rest 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 rest, rest, rest. Somebody say rest. rest. Say rest. rest. Say rest. rest. Say rest. rest. Wholeness. Wholeness. A state of wellness. Shada Bahakata. Of wholeness. The time you are going to use in worshipping God, serving God, loving God, you are battling about marriage. That is unrest. The time you are going to use in just loving the Lord, seeking the face of God, enjoying Him, you are battling about finances. In Genesis 49, 15, I like it. He said, and he saw that rest was good. And he saw that rest was good god you know, moses was talking to the lord in exodus 33 verse 14 he said my your presence god said to him my presence shall go with thee and i will give you rest am i speaking to somebody my presence shall go with thee and i will give in second samuel i think verse chapter 7 i believe verse 1 the word of god was saying that god had given david rest from his 
enemies god has given him rest from his enemies somebody say i receive rest talk to me i receive rest he said in that city there was a widow and there was a judge if god must answer you you must understand god is a judge god is a judge as you as you come into the place of prayer and you are about to open your mouth to ask for something understand that god is a judge the bible calls him the judge of all the old earth promotion that coming from the east not from the west not from the south but god is a judge when i heard that the first time i was worried because we have four cardinal points that's where you get the word the news from the north east west and south so when they say promotion that coming from the east from the west from the south i was wondering what about the north you would have you know you would have said promotion that coming from east not the west not the south not the north he said no promotion that coming from the east from the west or from the south why the bible says it's mount zion the site of the northern city god sits on the north from the northern city he gives promotion to the east to the west and to the south for it's mount zion the site of the northern city of the great king am i talking to somebody here so from there god sits on the northern side and begins to give promotion to the east promotion to the south promotion to the west am i communicating right now god is a judge i need you to understand the dynamics of prayer number one god judges sin now the psalmist said in Psalm 66, 18, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. The Lord will not hear me. In Proverbs 15, verse 8, I think, he says the prayer of the upright, the prayer of the upright is God's delight. 2 Chronicles 7 14, popular verse of scripture. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray. And what? And what? Come on, say that to me. And what? From their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven. I'll forgive first and heal their land. When Jesus. Romans 8.32 If God spared not his only son Christ But gave him us You know Gave him for us all Will he not with him Freely give us all things When Jesus died for you The price was paid But I'm going to tell you Why you need to understand Galatians 5 That says Stand fast in the liberty Christ paid the price You didn't pay You didn't pay You didn't pay Christ paid let me explain let me explain everything that was settled at the cross was the work of christ he reconciled us you were the one who committed your offense you were the one in debt christ paid god through christ actually somebody is owing me twenty thousand now i know he doesn't have let me tell you the way Christ paid. God paid through Christ. He doesn't have the money. He's owing me 20,000 there. By reason of so many things he has done, he's owing me 20,000 there. He doesn't have the money. I now call Henry. I now give Henry 100,000. I say, go and give this person 50,000 that is owing me. Henry went to him. As soon as Henry gave him 50,000, I came to knock on his door. I said, please, the money you are owing me, pay me. Was it he? Was it he that paid? I paid the debt that he could not pay. 
in all the debts he could not pay he needed someone so I have to give him now he cannot be proud because I gave my son life to go to the world pay for him he owes he must data so I did everything now watch this if the son is no more around the debtor who is not old can take advantage of him all right I wish I can explain this now Paul said in first Corinthians 9 27 I keep my body why 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 thought Christ has paid everything I keep my body bring it under lest after I've preached the word if you are living in sin don't pray if you are praying don't live in sin as you gather prayer requests also gather righteousness or don't bother to pray because when you live in sin and you pray you are making yourself an enemy of both God and the devil Isaiah 59 verse 1 the hand of the Lord is not shut in Isaiah 59 that he cannot save neither is he a heavy but your iniquities have separated between you and your God and your sin has turned so many people look at me so many people did not know sin until they entered church is that not a shame it was in church they learned how to sin some people entered departments with morality they were moral sit down it was in the departments they were taught how to sin Dean, somebody told me something that the pastor of their church said all the single girls, so long they are not married, they are free to commit immorality. <laughs> that the Bible only says marriage is honorable, bed undefiled. That your bed being undefiled is only when you are married. So he sleeps with them in turns, turn round the whole department. And she was like that for years. The man used scripture to confuse them from Bible. After they finish committing sin, you say speak in tongues. Bah, bah, bah. So you see, the Holy Ghost has not left you. <laughs> now, that is going on in many places today. And people are praying. People lift up their voice, they are praying. And you see them, the same group, there are people who are not talking to each other. What kind of stupid prayer is that? Since you refuse to be broken and changed, God also stood this ground to resist you. God said, you and I, we will see who will obey scriptures. You have refused to change, I also have refused to answer you. Cry till you go old until you change. People think God is sympathetic. God is not sympathetic, God is principled. God is principled. You can be losing your life and God is watching you. Why? Because it's principle. That's the truth. I tell them in America, you want to get a document and you arrange marriage and you pay money for marriage. Listen, marriage is marriage. Whether paper marriage, document marriage, is marriage. As far as God is concerned, you get married to get a document, you have a wife in Nigeria, as far as God is concerned, you are a polygamist. You got a true passport. That's the truth. If you want to marry, marry. But nobody wants to hear that. We want Christianity made easy. Where you can quarrel with people and God still answer your prayer. You can finish fighting out there. There are people you are, you are not on talking terms with. God is a judge. A group of youths went out for picnic. All of them went no, normally say, okay, it's youth week. Let's not just only pray, preach. Let's go and have picnic. They put on t-shirt, jeans, and went for picnic near uh, you know, some beach. 
They were praying, playing music, doing variety. Some nonsense things going on today. They were having a picnic. All of a sudden, there were 70 of them. They counted, it was, it was now 68. A brother and a sister were missing. They were looking for them. They couldn't find them. All of them, all of a sudden, they saw them running out of the bush naked. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What happened? Why they were committing sin, God anointed a snake. Jehovah that sees everything orchestrated a very ready snake. The snake came after them. They took off into the midst of brethren. Ran out like Adam and Eve, leaving their clothes behind. There are people who have... Listen, listen. You may not be perfect, but be sincere. There are people whose hearts... There's nothing to talk to next year. You see my wife there? I cannot stand on the altar if she's not happy. It's not because I can't stand. What is it? We show the microphone. We show the microphone. But there's something called a conscience. I can't. It's not possible. If I say something and she's quiet, she's not happy, the next minute I'm going back to her. Is everything okay? It's conscience. It's not because you are not a man. I walk to her and say, is everything okay? He said, I'm fine. I said, ah, this, this small talk, now you don't, they, you, you know, some men don't say sorry. They go around sorry. <laughs> say, this small thing, now you are just getting this small. But there are people, one week, a husband and a wife are not talking. And they are in their room praying. The wife is shouting fire. The husband is shouting water. They are, both of them are busy praying. And, and they are not. God is a judge. No, it's, it's funny. It's funny. It's very funny. How you will settle down, open a, 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 a business. And you put somebody from a church to be a sales girl. She will steal your money, run away. And she, tomorrow she's praying to get married. Return what you stole. God is a judge. When people are, you, 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 you see people suffering in the church. They can't feed. You pick them. You give them job. And they steal you blind. Am I communicating here? I'm robbers bust into a, a hostel and saw a boy and a girl and they were shouting, Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of the Amrabas say, eh? Blood of who? Blood of Jesus. Say, eh? If you call blood again. He said, God um, now God sent us come. When somebody will play you, you can't keep making God angry and expect him to make you happy. Hmm? When you are living in sin and you are still seeing answers to your prayer, you are committing spiritual fraud. See, you prayed and you got married. It was not your prayer. It was corporate anointing. It was the prayer the old church pray. You are a beneficiary of it. It's fraud. The old church, the old church gathered to pray. God, give us fruitfulness. And somehow you got pregnant with all your juju spirit, all the herbalists you have visited. You now still got pregnant. You, you, are not, you don't visit herbalists. You now recommend. You are, you are a dispenser. You know this baba that can kill. You know the baba that can give child. You know the baba that can give marriage. You yourself, you are a mobile shrine. And at that point of your life, now you appear to be seeing results. It is fraud. It is the group benefit that you are enjoying. You will pay for it. What well, you may pay for it when that child is growing up. Because you're righteous. <laughs> Listen, there's something about God. God is long suffering. He's long suffering. 
except your righteousness exceed the righteousness of the Pharisees, you shall by no means. What is the righteousness of the Pharisees? Eh? What is the righteousness of the Pharisees? What is it? Outer. There are people you see today and you judge them that they don't know God, but in their dwelling, they have a relationship with God. I wish I was saying something. One of the biggest problems, there are Christians that don't lie. They don't steal. They don't commit immorality. They don't backbite. They don't envy. But they have spiritual pride. Should I tell you what spiritual pride is? Spiritual pride is what makes you feel others don't know anything. You sit down somewhere and you are correcting what they are saying. It's spiritual pride. Paul said, Left, lest I become puffed up by revelation, he sent a spirit to buffet me. So that when Paul thought he knew too much, he couldn't understand the mystery on why, despite his knowledge, a sickness could still affect his body. God said, I did that to humble you, lest you become puffed up by revelation. When I went to him three times, he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. Paul, you know, but this one, you don't know it. This words is past finding out. There's no searching to his understanding. God is not educated. God is not educated. God is education. God did not go to school. God is an institution. <laughs> Am I talking to somebody here? Yeah? God did not study biology. He is biology. Even the biology we did study in school. If not, how can a virgin bird produce a child? Am I talking to somebody here? God did not study chemistry. It's chemistry. How do you turn water to water? God did not study economics. He is an economist. How does five loaves of bread and two fishes feed 5,000 men? God did not study physics. He is physics. How does somebody walk on the water? Somebody here? God! How can you willingly, I'm not talking of weakness, you are willingly living a life that you know willingly is against God. You walk past somebody in church, both of you are not talking. Willingly. And you are praying. Stand up and go home. One time, there were some issues going on between me and certain people, and I was so upset. And they said, let us pray. I said, pray what? When all of us are angry, let's enter our cars and go home. They said, let's go and repent, all of us, all of us, let's go and repent. You will insult me, I insult you, that one insult us, we insult ourselves, then we all gather and say, let's pray. What kind of prayer? Enter your car, enter your car, let's go and repent. After we repent, tomorrow we pray the prayer. Stop playing games. God is a judge. He will judge sin. He never said God is a banker. He didn't say God is a marketer. He said God is a judge. The standards of God are high. God is looking for people to bless. God is looking for people to lift up, to raise up. But despite how desperate God is in search of people, he will never pick dirty people. I of you know that no matter the low turnout of response to Academic admission, it must be the requirement is static. Mass, mass. Have you seen any year? They say, okay, because the, the students are few, lift up English this year. Five credits minimum. The, the standards of God are stagnant, they are there. Nevertheless, the foundation of the Lord standeth sure. Having the seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. Let everyone. I will tell you that the um, um, Bible says drink, don't get drunk, take little alcohol. What is all that? Just tell us that you like to drink, so you are looking for a revelation to back you up. Why not you just avoid? That was, what, that was what Eve did. God said, don't eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Satan came. Satan said, God said, don't eat. He didn't say, don't look. 
She started looking. The Bible says she saw it was good for food. God said, don't eat. He didn't say, God, don't, say, don't think about it. She kept looking. And Satan came and said, God said, don't eat. He didn't say, don't pluck. She plucked it. God said, don't eat. He didn't say, don't admire. She admired. God said, don't eat. He didn't say, don't bite. Don't bite. Don't bite. One bite. Don't swallow. Just bite. Don't, don't swallow. Just bite. One bottle for deco. Blood tonic. Blood tonic. One bottle for deco. Blood tonic. He didn't say, he didn't say don't. Pam. She bite. Say, God didn't say, don't chew. Eating is in the swallowing process of being digested. So, just chew. And she chew. And she said, and said you've already started it? God is already angry with you. Why not? If you don't want to live in sin, avoid the magnetic feed of sin. Avoid it! People tell you all kinds of things, and yet, the road safety will tell you, don't drink and drive. They didn't say, don't get drunk and drive. They say, don't drink at all. Whatever you want to do, do it. The time is going to come. <laughs> Am I talking to somebody? All this method you try to figure out. I was studying something. Look at this. I was studying something. Listen to this. You know Isaac called Esau. He said, let, me, let my soul bless you before I die. He wasn't ready to die. Death was not close. In other words, that let me bless you is let me correct the error in your life. Because when the father really wants to live and wants to release a priestly blessing, he must call both children. It becomes partiality if he calls only one child. What Isaac wanted to do was to correct and restore the birthright that Jacob had collected. That's what he wanted to do for Esau. So he wanted to give him a compensation. But Jacob came, collected the birthright, and collected the compensation. But this is it. Rebecca did all the strategies to see how to help Jacob because she felt Isaac was to die. I studied my Bible and I discovered Rebecca died before Isaac. Rebecca died before Isaac. Rest your life in God's hands. Stop trying to figure how to help yourself. Rest your life. You are in trouble. The more you try to help yourself, the more you plunge into higher and more trouble. Rest! 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 I told you when I was asking the Holy Ghost, what is that thing that you see and mortal man? And it's always a problem. Down the ages, down of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, down of the prophets, down to Christ. What is that thing with man that has always been a problem that you see in everybody and you're uncomfortable with? I told you what he said. He said, inability to surrender. Even people that say they are believing God are fashioning out ways to help themselves. A great woman was in church. Followed the Lord, kept herself. No marriage. 20 years, no marriage. 30 years, no marriage. 40 years, no marriage. She was still serving God. 50 years, no marriage. I'm telling you, many people will give up. In fact, they will help themselves. 55 years, no marriage. She was still in church loving God. 59 years, no marriage. She was still, and she has not known a man up to 59 years. Just following God. A great general lost his wife. And when he was praying, God said, your wife is in London. Directed at 60. The God that is too faithful to fail. Took her from being a recruit to being a five-star general. To being a even though no biological child to become a mother to mothers. You think this God is asleep? No righteous living is in vain. No pure living is wasted. No doing the right thing is wasted. Let people call you names. Let them insult you. But you gotta be a Christian. 
Nobody's following me. When you want to follow this God, expect to be called foolish. Recently, there was a tussle in the, in the, in the, in the, in the media. Some men of God were angry about somebody who abused the great man of God. And I was, I mean, I was angry at the video. And I called the person before. I said, what do you want to do? He said, I want to respond. I said, don't try it. Apologize. Eh? I said, shh. Apologize. Come out and say you are sorry. Enough of all this nonsense. People will call you names. I said, they'll call you a fool. They'll say you are now weak. I said, it is in those names they call you that God make you a name. And after he did it, he said to me, see, I feel so much peace. I said, that's what that matters. They let, the, let the nonsense end. And somebody said, why didn't Papa come out too to also blast? How can I blast somebody that have his number? Does it make sense? Somebody I can talk to? All of this nonsense going on today. Brother against brother, sister against sister, pastor against pastor. There are some churches you can't marry from, you can't marry from outside, you can't marry from there. Some of them, they can't marry from certain departments in church. They don't talk to certain people. Because we don't preach the same thing, so we are now enemies. There are the, there are the essentials. There are the non-essentials. Essential. Christ paid the price. Essential. Heaven is real. Essential. Hell is real. Essential. Am I talking to somebody here? Essential. In all the essential, modesty. Essential. Essential. There is non-essential. Wear trouser, don't wear trouser. Cover hair, don't cover hair. It's non-essential. In non-essential liberty. Then whether essential or non-essential, in both of them, charity. Non-essential. People quote over non-essentials. Oh, you must pay tight. Oh, I don't believe in tight. If you don't believe in tight, keep it. If you believe in tight, pay Period. It's not an issue. <laughs> I know a young man, somebody, a preacher, who used to attack people. Say, oh, don't pay tight, don't pay tight, don't pay tight. I called him, we had a conversation for a long time. When we had done, recently I was listening to him. He said, I'm not against tight, sha, but just that when people are now forcing, I say, shut up, you're against it. Oh, you're don't clear now? He said, no, God told him that. I, I said, hey, if you change your message. <laughs> As I was talking to you, I'm not in support of those who tell them if you don't pay tight, you will die. No. You don't pay tight, your windows are closed. Must everybody be rich? We all must not be rich. Not everybody is going to heaven. Some will stay back to wait for the Antichrist. Some will miss the first batch, they wait for the second batch. Some will never follow the second batch, they will follow supplementary list. <laughs> Of course, the Bible says two men shall be in the, um, two people shall be in the, in the feed. One shall go, one will stay behind. God knows that some people won't go. There are some people that will be reporters. They'll be the journalists to report how somebody left. This is, my, this is Michael Oluwatosi. I was somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. A friend left before me, left, and he says all of that. The next thing, Michael Oluwatosi reporting for NTA. <laughs> Is a judge. Number two, God judges wickedness. This is the path we are going to scatter in a thousand directions. Any form of molestation is wickedness. Any form of harassment is wickedness. What is wickedness? Wickedness is manifestation of impunity, indignity, and insanity. Impunity, rascality. When people do things and they say nobody can do anything to them. That's impunity. Impunity, indignity, anything that reduces your pride is wickedness. Anything that reduces your pride. The Bible says in Genesis 37, 38 verse 7, it says, and, Ju and Ed, Judah's firstborn was wicked and the Lord slew him. In Psalm chapter 7 verse 11, Psalm chapter 7 verse 11, 
the Bible says God judges the righteous and is angry with the wicked. Isaiah 48, 22. Isaiah 57, 21. There is no peace for the wicked. See it, my God. God is against wickedness. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 3, verse 10 and 11, say to the righteous, it shall be well with him. And they shall eat the fruit of their doing. Say to the wicked, verse 11, it shall be ill with him. In Ecclesiastes 8, 13, he says, it shall not be well with the wicked. So it's not everybody you see and you tell it is well. Oh, you don't know. It's not every, wicked people, when you see that, tell them, it shall not be well. Say it's the Bible. That's the Bible. Somebody walk and you see a witch and tell a witch it is well. No, it is well. It's for the righteous. To the wicked, it shall not. It's not a curse. When Jacob called all his children in Genesis 49 and began to tell them what shall be for them, he wasn't cursing them. He was giving them their report card. You have written an exam. This is the result. Reuben! Excellency of dignity, excellency of power. Thou shall not excel. Why? Because you went into your father's couch. You defiled it. Levi and Simeon. He said, come not near their anger. For in their anger they destroyed the man. It was the reward or the repercussion of all their endeavors. Now, the word of God says concerning the wicked, it shall not be well with them. Wickedness. God judges wickedness. Listen to me, we are in a world that is wicked. A world that is wicked, 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 wicked. There are things I just can't say. A world that is wicked. A world that is wicked. A man came to a campus, saw a girl, deceived her with money, proposed marriage to her, went to see her people. Where do you live, sir? I live in America. Where do you live? I work in America. I want to do this fast. They only gave me one month. I've got to go back. Pick the lady. They rushed the marriage. He hired people to stay as in-laws. Hired people to say they are his parents. Hired people to say they are his father and mother and brother and sister. Went back. Told the lady, let's go to a house on the island in Lagos. And let's just stay here while I work your papers. Took the girl into the house. Took her from there to the boys' quarter. Opened the door, gave her a sound slap. She slept off, took her phones, took everything. She was in that room for two years. He comes in, messes up, and go. In an isolated BQ. Did all that. One time the lady said, I don't know what's going on. Just allow me to go out. Look the way I look. It's like I'm even pregnant. The pregnant kicked the womb, beat her up. She bled. She was in there for two years. But God is not asleep. The parents who ask, let me talk to my daughter. Ah, you know, she's abroad now. The kind of work she's doing, work that she cannot receive call. Let me talk to my daughter. Ah, sir, you, okay, she will call you, she will call you. After one month, they reach him again. What is going on? Oh, sorry, I told her. What is wrong with this lady? She doesn't want to call her parents. Meanwhile, she was in Lagos. Locked in the room. One of the nights, she was crying. Two years! And the security notice that man goes into that place once in a week. The security said to put his ear there. And screamed, helped the lady out. Of course, as he was helping the lady out, he was also taking his bag. <laughs> because he's finished. He left. The lady ran. When the parents saw her, they started crying. I asked myself a question What was that for? A young girl, I'm not telling you what I think, I'm telling you what I know. A young man married a girl, spent money. Did everything. On the wedding day, they had intercourse as husband and wife. I had only moved for one week. On the seventh day, he sat her down. He said, I didn't want to marry you. I just wanted to sleep with you. You were playing hard to get. That's what I did at the wedding. I'm traveling back. Did wedding. Paid diary. Did everything. Just to make her know, I can get you. Okay, what do you gain? And such a person expects that God will not punish him. He can't escape it. And that's why I tell people, pray! Who prays again in church? Pray! 
Some of you sisters who are shaking your head now, do it. Let somebody just shake a khaki in front of you. This your head shaking will just stop. You are pretending not shaking your yeah, father. The will of God. The will of God. The will of God. You show your khaki shaking. That's not the will of God. The will. The will. The will. The the. It's easy to say it. Hear this. The Lord told me something. He said, there's a level of financial explosion a man can never enter if he still values money. It's a level of wealth. You can't get it. It only comes for those who have conquered the love, the appetite. That they can see money that has evil attached and they walk away. Am I saying something here? All your friends are internet fraudsters, but you look at your dignity in Christ and refuse to join them. Despite the name they call you. And I look, what was that for? What was that for? That you deliberately victimize people and you are wicked to them. God is the judge. God is the judge. There are people who have shown wickedness to people in life. There are some of you that would have gone far, higher than what you are. But there is a person who is sitting down because you're rising. They have seen potentials. They have seen talent. They have seen the future. You're rising. You have not even risen yet. They're already panicking. But God is the judge. I wish I was talking to somebody here. God is the judge. Anyone that has extended the hand of wickedness to you, as we pray in the next few minutes, the God of heaven shall reply that. Take your seat. A politician was running for an election. And this was some four years ago. And he had a rival. And he had an, an attack. They recommended a doctor to him. And when he, when he saw the doctor left, that was the rival's doctor for 25 years. So he said, ah, this opponent just came to see me. He said, please do anything you can do for me. He said, like I said, do anything you can do. The doctor took an injection, drew it from a cancer patient, injected to this man. Of course, one month, nothing, two months, nothing, three months, nothing. Six, seven months, body began to change. Cancer developed. Medical doctor. How much were you paid? To ruin a whole destiny, waste a whole life. Wickedness is real. First John 5:19 said the whole world lieth in wickedness. Wickedness is real. Wickedness is real. A young pastor was doing well, growing, doing well, doing well. And there were pastors in the land who didn't like him. Overnight, killed a little boy. When dog get in the pastor's church. Dog it around the church. In the morning, they were the first to go. Hey, they saw something. They went straight to that spot. Come on. Come on. When I heard the issue, I said, Come on. They were now so prophetic that they knew the exact spot. They dug it there. God is the judge. And there are so many of you hearing the sound of my voice. You don't even know the level of wickedness being done against you. You are not even aware. God is shutting your eyes from sinning because he knows you will take laws into your hands if you know them. He knows you will cut off somebody's head if you know them. The level of wickedness that has been perpetrated and done to you. There are people that want you to perpetually be at their mercy. There are people, even in families, that turn their back. They don't care how you survive. They can help you, but they refuse to help you. Am I speaking to somebody here? But God is the judge. I come with a counsel from heaven and a word from God to make a decree on someone's life and someone's destiny. For everyone that has shown you wickedness, it shall not be well with them. <laughs> For everyone, be on your feet. We are going to take four prayers. There are some things God loves you so much, so He doesn't want you to know. Some of you be depressed for years to know what some close people have done.
as a preacher of the gospel, as a father to so many people, I have seen things I just look. I shake my head. Someone loves someone so much, and that person that's so loved is the one doing everything to see that this person doesn't go far. There are people, as far as they are concerned, they want everything. It's all about them. You know, in this ministry, there are people, if I give somebody anything, they want to know what I give. Because the feed must be them. We are not related, though. They are not my blood brother, so. They are not my wife. They are not my biological children. What did Papa, what did Papa give to you? It has to be them. Am I saying the truth? It has to be them. You won't give them so you have said to me. You won't give me something from. It has to be them. I see all that and I just laugh. You are not related. You are not my blood brother. You are not my sister. You are not my wife. Yet you are controlling everything that comes around. Someone asked me for some funds and last year I said we will support you. And was watching online and saw me give somebody something. And he sent me a text. He said, Daddy, I thought you said you don't have. Uh, no. It's about, about him. And I said, that thing I promised you before, you won't get it again. It's only God that fulfills, that keeps all his promise. I'm a man. God is not a man that he should lie. Not the son of man that he should repent. I'm so, so, son of man. So I can repent. <laughs> I said, you won't get it again. I said, my family has not questioned me. You are questioning me. I said, I said, I don't have for you. Now, let you, you, your papa born. There are other children that need to be happy. Wickedness. The spirit of wickedness, the spirit of self-centeredness. In class, if you carry first, you can't carry second. You carry first, you leave second for somebody. How can you carry first, carry second, carry third? Are you a witch? What is yours won't pass you? That's life. If anything passes you by, it was never meant to be yours. It was never meant to be yours. I've told you what happened to me at campus. Have I told you that? I've told you the story. When I was in school, I was so prayerful, so prayerful. Whenever I want to share something, the whole place is jammed. I didn't even know much of revelations, just a lot of scriptures and power. Tell me to bless offering, power. Tell me to just give announcement, power. I was on trust campus. They like power. So I was power crazy. So everybody in there, this one, Brother Johnson, is the next president. I, I, I was like the most pronounced person. You know, so I was... When they were to announce presidents, I sat down like I was not interested. Of course, there would be rumor in that I'm the one, I'm the one, I'm the one. So I just sat like I was not interested. I said, I don't want... In my mind, I was saying, ah, who else if not me? What is that? <laughs> Do you like a pastor that tells the truth, right? In my heart, I say, it's me now. Who they here? It's me. So they say, ah, you are the president. I say, ah, no, 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 no. My face, my studies, in my heart. I was say, if I hear they give somebody else, there will be a problem in this place. In fact, when they say, now we're going to call the new escorts, everybody ran to my seats. You know what they do in school now? They want to carry you up and everything. They announce the president. The number in my seat around my seat reduced. They say, ah, maybe the president, maybe they need. Um, the guy they made president was a young man that was going for Kegite meeting. You know Kegite? Palm wine. He was on his way there. I called him and preached to him. I said, don't follow those guys. Come. I preached to him. He was the one they made president. They say, okay, maybe they want to make him vice so he can control the president. So some sisters around my seat, they announced vice. I was not there. They say, okay, 
maybe because of his prayer, 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 they feel he can handle the prayer department. In fact, the number was like three or four. Why will he be? Why would they put him in charge of prayer? Why will he be prayer coordinator? They are not prayer coordinator. I was not there. When they were almost rounding up, they announced Chief Usher. I was the one. Because throughout service, I stand. So they felt that was my calling. If they are preaching, I don't sit down. As they are preaching, we are leading prayer. I'm always agile. When they say we should come out and kneel on the altar. <laughs> Have you seen when the short distance become so long for you? As I was going out in my heart, I said, I'm leaving this fellowship. <laughs> ah, this is jealousy. They are jealousy, my gifts. I'm leaving... I say, I'm leaving. No, 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 I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Ah, no, no. This is, they say, Holy Spirit told them, nah, lie. This is not Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit said, Me, Osha. I don't know what to be Osha. What do you like? I knelt down. People were saying, All oh, the president, amen. My eyes were open. I said, What kind of wickedness? I said, This, pres this outgoing president does not like me. I know. He doesn't like me. And the Lord spoke to me, Stay here. Direct people. <laughs> they finish everything. This bring report. Bring report. We total the attendance. I'll give the president. Somebody going to drink palm wine. I preached to. I was not reporting to him. I mean, I was so angry when he's talking to me. I'm just imagining palm wine in his mouth. <laughs> and I was there. The Lord said, "I'm teaching you something," but I didn't know why God, what God was teaching me. I just stayed. There was a day, because any time they are doing an ESCO meeting, I don't talk. So one day, the president called me. He said, why is it that they are asking for suggestions? You are always quiet. I know you are the one that preached to me. So are you, are you, are you, are you feeling so big? That you are not the president? And I say, sir, God saw me before he picked you. If God saw me and yet he still pick you, he knows that you are better than me for this position. He knows I will cause problems. I will make mistakes. So I'm not angry. But it's out of respect that I don't say anything. Do you know we left school? I left school. I didn't even know. I said, okay, God, why did you say me to stay as usher? I left school as head usher. I was in Lagos preaching for the Redeemed Christian Church of God. As I was coming out of the car, somebody called me. You know, there's, there are names people call you. You know that they know you. You know, I don't know if they do that in campus. When you speak in tongues a lot, they pick that tongue and name it after you. So they called me. I came down from the car. They called me. The night. I remember them. He said, wait, oh, are you the great man of God we are waiting for? I said, yes. Who was that? My president in campus. Was now the head usher of that church in the redeem. Yeah, I was guest speaker. He said, are you the great man of God we are waiting for? I said, of course, I'm the apostle. <laughs> Hallelujah. He said, he said, see God, oh, see God, oh, see God. Oh. I said, how are you? So you are here, what do you do? He said, I'm a banker. I'm the, I said, yeah. oh, yeah, say, I'm, I'm the usher. In fact, I'm the regional. I said, shut up. Usher is usher. We're not regional. I said, carry my Bible. He carried it. Somebody was, somebody was trying to help him. He said, no, I said, carry my Bible. When we go to the church, I'll minister a while, I'll throw my handkerchief deliberately on the floor. It will fall. I say, hey, pick it. You will pick it and give it to me. So people now notice, uh, they started laughing. And I said, should I tell you why I'm doing this? Many years ago, I was head usher. He was president. Now life has turned. I'm guest speaker. He's head usher. Pick my handkerchief for me. He has worshipped with us over there. At that place, he has worshipped with us over there. When he came, he said, Sa, 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 sa. And I say, see you that was calling Presidio. Now, God will test you today to determine your lifting for tomorrow. Yeah. It wasn't because God couldn't give that to me, but he wanted to test my heart. To test my heart. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 2, to prove thee. Judges chapter 3, 1 and 3. To prove them. John chapter 6, 5 and 6. Where shall we buy bread? He said, he, he said this to prove them for himself knew what to do. John chapter 6, 5 and 6. 
And so many of you now, God is just taking you to, you don't complain. You complain, 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 complain. You are so discouraged. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness of heart, thou shalt serve the enemies. Who is ready to pray? Anything, any process we are going through right now, God is watching. Lift your right hand on the fire. Say in the name of Jesus. O oh, thou that judges sin, deliver me from iniquity. O oh, thou that judges sin, deliver me from iniquity. Open your mouth and begin to ask God for deliverance from the yoke of sin. In Jesus' name. Say, oh God of purity. As I begin to pray, let sin lose taste to me. Oh God of purity. As I begin to pray, let sin lose taste to me. Open your mouth and turn it to prayer. Spirit of the living God. Shut up, 
Are you ready? <laughs> Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. After the order of Goliath. After the order of Goliath. I didn't hear you. After the order of Goliath. After the order of Goliath. Wickedness around me. Wickedness around me. Jesus name. Amen. Tonight we are going to be getting into some very strong dimensions, but I want us to prepare the ground this morning. Take this prayer. Say manifestations. Manifestation. Manipulations. Manipulation. Of wickedness. Of wickedness. Around my life. Around my life. In my family lineage, in my family lineage. Be, terminated by fire. be terminated by fire. Say manifestations, manifestations. Manipulations, manipulations of wickedness, of wickedness. Around, my life. around my life. In my family lineage, be terminated by fire. Yeah, 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 yeah
Blessed be your name. Every one of us lift our hands. We're going to dedicate this morning. This morning is just to dedicate so that when we begin to flow in those dimensions, nothing will stop our expectations. Nothing. Consecrate me now to the service, Lord, by the power of grace divine. Let my soul look up with a steadfast hope and my will be lost in that drumming air near a blessed love to the cross when thou hast the drumming air Blessed God to the precious draw me closer, closer to thee, Lord. To thee. The Bible says, draw near to God and He will draw near to you. My song every day. So I might be bold to save my body. Is your son to our my body? Is your son to our Is your song purify me like gold? So I might be bold to save my body. Purify me. Lago So I might be bold to say my body My God, my Father, while I stray far from my home from say oh teach me from my heart to say that will be done that will 
Blessed be your name. We receive your grace to hate what you hate, to love what you love, to be passionate over your passions. Help us. Even as we engage in the mystery and the dynamics of prayer, We know the accuser of the brethren that stands to accuse. You said, Jesus, you said, the prince of the world cometh, he had nothing in me. May that be our testimony. May we hate the things you hate. It says in Matthew 1 21, his name shall be called Jesus, and he shall save his people from their sins. We have not an high priest that cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity. He was in all point tempted as we are, yes, without sin. The strength you had while you walked on the shores of the earth, as 100% man, 100% God, the strength you had, that despite the temptation, you overcame. We draw that same grace. Help us, Lord. Let our garments be white. Let our head lack the ointment. From the ends of the earth, when my heart is overwhelmed, when my heart is overwhelmed, please lead me to the rock. That is higher than I. That is higher than I. Thank you, Father. We receive in Jesus' name. Tonight we're here by four and we're going to be closing early like we do in our programs. But just believe God for a word. A personal word will come for you. Hold an offering in your hand. Let's put a seal on that we have received. The Lord is talking to me. As you get out of this place, just go sit and take out time to just be in business with God. Many of our people are coming tonight. The t-shirt is on. It's a thousand five. I want you to get it. Father, we ask for healing power. Let this be a an extension of signs and wonders. Ah, the color and the frag he said the evil spirits left them. Father, as we give to you, may our heavens remain open. In Jesus' name. Jehovah turns my life around. He turns my life around. He makes a way where there is no way. Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns my life around. He turns my Oh, he makes a way where there is no way. Jehovah has the final say. Who has 
der feiner See. Der Oma ist der feiner See. Du hast der feiner See. Der Oma ist der feiner See. Der Oma tanzt mal lang. Like you. I'm in so many places. 
leaving this program with the sicknesses okay. you're going to see that you're going to see that happen you're going to see it happen as you get back to wherever you're resting before we come by four just keep telling god purify me purify me purify me and the lord will hear our prayers it is well with you my head is a good head my life is a good one angels shall fight for me greatness on my side goodness shall follow me no matter what the matter is Greater glory. God bless you. I see you 4 p.m. I am rich. I am strong. I. Ah, the color and the fragrance, the beauty of our culture and tradition gives makes a gloomy atmosphere glow with so much delight. The explicit thing is showcasing all this for one purpose in esteem gratitude and in honor to the one true god singing and dancing to his glory with the jaws the shakiras the ebos the yorubas the ibibios and every other ethnic group in nigeria and across the world wow Come Sunday 27 September 2020 with Apostle Johnson and Dr. Lizzie Suleiman happening live at the International Worship Center of Omega Fire Ministries, kilometer 132 Benino Kene Abuja Expressway, Auchi Edo State, Nigeria. Don't be found elsewhere, but with your ethnic group. Invigorating presence of grace, a people passionate for the kingdom. Get ready for an unforgettable moment that birth dreams. Amen. International Youth Conference 2020. Pleasing God. From the 6th to the 8th October 2020. 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. daily. At the International Worship Center, Omega Farm Ministries, Kilometer 132 Benino Kene Abuja Expressway, Aouchi Edo State, Nigeria. Ministering, Pastor Austin Igbinosa. Nothing brings reduction like seduction. Sir, if they can seduce you, they can reduce you. Reverend Fidelis Ayemuba. How will you feel to know that you lost your virginity for Nokia 3310? And then today, 3310 is like Ichabod. The glory has departed. <laughs> Apostle Johnson and Dr. Lizzy Suleiman. For inquiries, please call. It's time to please God. The time has come for the gathering of sons to get recharged and revitalized. The church that cannot be despised is a church of testimonies. An outburst of revival. Ah! There's a revival! Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. 
International Ministers Conference October edition. Testimonies at the trademark of God's mandate. Apostle Jensen and Dr. Lizzie Suleiman, 28th through 30th October 2020. Ministers without blemish. Time 8 a.m. and 3 p.m. GMT plus one. Happening live at the International Worship Center, Omega Fire Ministries, Kilometer 132, Benin, Okenya, Abuja Expressway, Algeria, Del State, Nigeria. For inquiries, please call. Ministers without blemish. Prepare for your next level. Shout glory! To every gathering, there is a waiting. To every act of remembrance, there is a show of visitation. For the Lord is mighty to save. His arms are stretched forth to deliver. Papa, sir, her legs and hands were bound. Papa, she was mad. She'd been mad for two years. She's mad for two years. Are you just looking? Hallelujah. September to remember 2020. Pray until something happens. Say, my father, my father! My father, my father! My father, my father. My father. As I begin to pray, as I begin to pray. Apostle Jensen and Dr. Lizzie Suleiman happening on the 23rd through 27th September 2020 at the International Worship Center, Omega Fire Ministries Headquarters, Kilometer 132 Benin, Okene, Abuja Expressway, Algeria, Del State, Nigeria. The time is 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. daily. For inquiries, please call. September to remember, it is time to travel.